unlimited hydroplanes supply unlimited thrills as power boating supreme prize, the Gold Cup, goes up for grabs at Seattle's Lake Washington. The regatta is narrowed to the survival of the fittest and the fastest. Miss Thriftway, with 625 points to her credit, has been qualified for the final 30-mile heat by Bill Muncy, a two-time winner of the Gold Cup. Miss U.S. scored 400 points by capturing a preliminary heat. Points are awarded on both finishing position and elapsed time. Bill Stead, pilot of Maverick, leads the parade at the 60-mile mark with 700 points. Tied for third with 400 points is Myra Slovak, who will be in the cockpit of Wahoo. The Rolls-Royce power plant of Miss Spokane responds to the touch of Norm Evans, who finds his mount tuned to a T. Chick Heckling steers Miss Pay and Save into the open water as this mighty armada prepares to pursue the Gold Cup before an estimated one half million spectators, the largest crowd ever to attend a sports event. The yellow flag goes up, the countdown begins, and the Thunderboats blast off in the 50-second running of the world-famous Gold Cup Regatta. Seven boats abreast blast past the official's barge, but Miss Spokane jumps the gun in an otherwise blanket start. On the first trip around, Miss Spokane leads the field into the north turn. As a penalty for jumping the gun, Spokane will have to run one extra lap. Myra Slovak throws his throttle open and Wahoo waves her wake at Miss Spokane. Miss Thriftway begins to pick up the pace as Muncie stamps and steers through the straightaway at top speed. Engine trouble plagues Don Wilson in Miss U.S., who trails far behind the pack. These hydros are temperamental, and Wilson has his hands full trying to keep his mount underway. The pacemaker Wahoo buzzes and bounces down the backstretch at some 150 miles per hour. Maverick tries to slip by on the inside, but Wahoo's wake almost washes her away. Slovak steers Wahoo through the turn in a controlled slide, then gives her the gun to regain maximum speed for the mile-long sprint down the straightaway. Muncy has Miss Thriftway humming and he shoots her past Miss Spokane at the outset of the third lap. Fire from an oil line leak dooms Miss U.S. to defeat. Maverick and Thriftway hook up in a dogged Donnybrook duel as they wage wide open war for third position. Once he gives Thriftway the gas and shoots past Maverick. But Steady Bill Stead saves ground on the inside, and when they straighten away, it's Maverick on top. Now Muncie makes his move. He guns Thriftway up on the outside, forcing Maverick to miss a buoy. Stead will have to come about and pass the buoy correctly before continuing the chase. Thriftway throws a majestic rooster tail while setting sail in an attempt to overtake Spokane. Bill Muncy, driving a daring and dazzling race, charges into second position on the north turn. Norm Evans and Miss Spokane cuts the corner too close for comfort and clips the buoy while Thriftway draws out. Flirting with danger, Bill Stead storms around the turn as Maverick to make up lost time. Maverick can still win the Gold Cup if Stead can cut down Muncie's advantage. Seattleites roar their approval as hometown hero Bill Muncie in Miss Driftway thunders through the stretch to finish first in the feature heat of the Gold Cup Classic. Wahoo churns over the choppy waters to take the runner-up spot. But don't discount Maverick. Stead pulls out all the stops and completes the 90-mile distance 
13 and 3 tenths seconds faster than Bill Muncie. This proves the deciding factor, and two hours after the finish of the race, officials inform Bill Stead that he is the winner. Seattle's loss is Lake Mead's gain as Maverick captures the 1959 Gold Cup.